body of work, I'm going to be creating a workspace where I will be offering my body and untrained labour for employment in exchange for cash. I'm interested in the language of money and how bodies are translated into what is a really stilted vocabulary and why they are valued differently. We all give our bodies over to the service of others, sometimes for a lot of cash, sometimes for very little, sometimes with joy, sometimes with resignation. And we all buy other people's bodies, portions of their lives as well, but often we close our eyes to this. The workspace is set up with common iconic work tools. We've got a typewriter, an iron, a sewing machine, a bed. I will perform any basic task or service requested. On each day, my services will be charged at a different hourly rate, which will be commensurate with the pay rate of a particular untrained labourer from somewhere around the world. So on one day, if you want to hire my services, you'll have to pay the same hourly rate that Malek receives as an agricultural labourer in Sudan. And on another day, my services will be charged at the same rate that Gina Reinhardt receives as heir to a mining fortune in Australia. In body of work, I'll perform any form of untrained labour in exchange for cash. If you want me to transcribe data, I will. If you want me to do the ironing, I will. If you want me to perform sex work, darn your socks, mind your kid, I'll do any of those things as long as you pay me the set hourly wage for that day. Body of work has avert cash and labour results, but in the transaction, your imprint will also be left on me. Work leaves an imprint on the body of the employee and it colours the world's perceptions of us while often the person who, the employer, the person who's dictated the terms of the exchange washes their hands of it. Our crude attempts to transcribe something as unfathomable as human lives and time and existence into cash fascinates and troubles me and it's this transaction that I'm exploring in body of work.